This is GK Raju here. So I'm the founder and CEO of Race to Cloud Technologies. So we are an 8-year-old company. We started operations in 2016. So it started off as a self-funded company uh, after I spent close to about three decades in the corporate working with manufacturing, IT services, consulting industries. Uh, and then uh, initially we became partners with Zoho for Zoho Creator. And then uh, we started getting uh, exposed to all the other product portfolios in Zoho. And that's how our Zoho journey started. And then once we got into the Zoho HR ecosystem, so the natural starting point was uh, Zoho Recruit. Uh, so our journey with Zoho Recruit is also close to about seven, seven and a half years. So initially we started off implementing Zoho Recruit for IT services companies. So companies uh, uh, who had a huge uh, demand for fulfilling their staffing positions, open positions and then who are finding it difficult in terms of not having any proper tool in place to manage the end-to-end -end recruitment process. So over the last seven years, I can say we have done more than 50 odd Zoho Recruit project, uh, starting with smallest of a one-person company to a very large enterprise like Robert Bosch, where they're close to about 2,000 users today using uh, Zoho Recruit for multiple applications within the enterprise ecosystem. See, if you look at it, uh, the India growth story, I mean, with India growing at uh, 6 to 8% GDP and multiple sectors like semiconductors, uh, manufacturing, all these are emerging areas. So there is a huge uh, pent up uh, demand for talent. But at the eight, same time, when you talk to corporates, when you talk to hiring managers or the talent acquisition leaders, you keep constantly getting the refrain that, no, we are not able to find the right kind of people. So there is a huge, huge unfulfilled open position at the same time. Uh, there are not enough qualified candidates available to fulfill those slots. Now, given this uh, time pressures, let's say for example, a new GCC set up in India, they want to roll out operations within a month, and then let's say they have to scale from zero to 500. Now, assuming a typical uh, offer to joining ratio of let's say one is to 10. So if you have to scale up to 500, you need to at least sort through 5,000 resumes. Now organizations which traditionally work on Excel sheets and uh, 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 your emails literally cannot handle this. I mean, they just go crazy. I mean, all over the place, and then there won't be any proper process. There won't be any uh, proper evaluation processes. Whether the offer letters are uh, properly vetted, validated, approved, etc. So this is where uh, Zoho Recruit steps in. So the way Zoho Recruit uh, we position in the market is a complete end-to-end -end, uh, hire to join tool. So so you. Uh, advertise an open position so you're not restricted to using your own job opening platform I and mean, it connects to the best of the breed uh, platforms of the world so if you're in india it connects to let's say naukri linkedin indeed etc if you're in overseas market it connects to the local uh, so the first part in terms of getting the right kind of job opening created along with definition of the skill set and what to expect from the candidate it is all templatized i mean you don't have to reinvent the wheel again and again so that's the first level of automation we see in the whole recruit. And then of course, once you publish your job openings, a stream of candidates start coming in. So how do you manage your candidate inflow in terms of applications? So how quickly you are able to engage with the candidate, how quickly you are able to take them through the life cycle of the selection process ultimately resulting in an offer and an onboarding. So the way we pitch Zoho Recruit for a corporate HR, it's a tool which automates your workflow processes. So if let's say you do your job of hiring 100 people with 10 recruiters, you can do away with three recruiters and get the same output or more output from seven recruiters. So your ROI derived out of productivity and metrics improvement from Zoho Recruit investment is pretty high. And then of course there are other interesting features like you can have assessment done, Zoho Recruit uh, connects to multiple uh, talent assessment platforms, it has its own uh, video interviewing platform. So that eliminates the uh, biggest challenge which industry faces today is of the fake candidates. So the person who is going through the selection process is ultimately the person who has made the offer and who ends up joining. So Zoho helps, Recruit helps in managing all these uh, processes in a very very stringent and adherent manner and then of course on top of it uh, everybody wants to go for a, a digitization of the offer processes so latching on to a tool like let's say zoho sign helps you manage the workflow of uh, getting the right kind of approval and then also digitally signing and sending the offer letter to the candidate and it also increases the candidate experience i mean when they see a uh, offer letter coming out of the system requesting them to read understand and put the digital signature 
that gives a very very positive impact in the mind of the candidate hey i am joining a very forward looking organization which is not sending an offer letter uh, by a mail or uh, sent from a recruiters box right so we see a complete value in automating the entire end to end recruitment life cycle yeah so when we started off uh, uh, with our first recruit project it was primarily for a relatively small it services company uh, with about let's say two to three recruiters etc then gradually we shifted and then started getting into the mid market space where mid market uh, it companies having about uh, 20 to 25 recruiters and uh, close to 100 100 odd hiring managers so that's where we moved up and then gradually we landed up with couple of uh, enterprise accounts uh, where we really fitted uh, zoho recruit very well so uh, the the case i'm talking about is for robert bosch so that it's not a very traditional uh, uh, hire to offer process it's more of uh, uh, outsourcing management so uh, robert bosch does lot of open positions are outsourced to vendors now we have these uh, uh, enterprise grade products like sap field glass etc which cost a huge uh, and also in terms of implementation timelines and the risk it is very high and then the flexibility to customize also is limited so that's where we found a very sweet spot in zoho recruit uh, so both from the roll out perspective in terms of the ability to highly customize and build some very innovative use case which is outside the typical hire to uh, offer uh, use case where you bring in all the vendors assess their capabilities onboard the vendors share the open positions to vendors and then get the candidates issue the purchase order track the invoices the complete life cycle of managing the vendor is built it so we saw some huge uh, success out of that so literally recruit was growing at more than 100% year on year for the last couple of years and uh, thanks to the recruit product team we are always been uh, behind you in terms of getting you the feedback from the market if hey, this is what the market wants say for example the integration with teams or integration with google so i think once all these integrations started coming in place uh, uh, that the growth has been more than 200% year on year and we expect to see the momentum especially with uh, the gcc is coming in india so a lot of gcs are setting up uh, operations in india similarly there is a lot of investment happening in the manufacturing sector oil and gas sector energy sector right so people are looking india as a talent pool or a hub now any mnc which comes to india uh, doesn't really know much about the local market i mean what is the market what are the dynamics and then what is the availability of skill set and what are the typical average median uh, compensation which uh, they need to shell out etc right uh, so with all this uh, they simply cannot manage their growth aspiration without having recruit so typically recruit is a product which we are pitching to all these uh, growth phase organizations which they want to outsource uh, work to india in a big way as one of the first tools to help set up and streamline your operational processes and then once of course your employees start coming in uh, the rest of the operational processes take in place so we are pretty bullish over the next 3 years uh, uh, and we'll see lot of success in the recruit market See, there are two ways of looking at impact of AI in the recruitment uh, processes in the recruitment domain. First thing is the general buzzword everywhere is AI is out to uh, uh, snatch away your jobs. So naturally, the recruiters who make a day-to-day -day living, I mean, completing the recruitment process, are all uh, suffer from that worry or a fear. Can I be replaced? Can a bot replace me? And then do everything. Uh, so am I becoming redundant? So that's the first fear factor. and on the other side if you look at the organization leadership they are all bullish i mean for them end of the day it is the roi and then efficiency in operations which they matter right so so they really don't bother i mean if the job can be done by ai or a bot they are very happy so here you have a, 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 a the extreme so the top management uh, wants to invest in ai technologies to make their processes more efficient at the same time the recruiters are worried i mean will i lose my job so in my opinion i mean uh, both these are extreme views uh, right so if i look at it from the management's perspective yes ai is going to be an enabler it is going to uh, streamline uh, make your processes much more simple uh, and then take away a lot of your uh, judgmental errors which happen uh, human biases creep in like so ai will help in making the right kind of uh, uh, informed data driven choices if i were to evaluate a candidate so 
if a recruiter is there normally there will be a bias i mean the first time a recruiter speaks to a candidate a bias sets in so they will say okay i rate this candidate 80% right so that objectivity is lost so there i feel ai will uh, be a good uh, a tool uh, to assist uh, in uh, evaluating a candidate uh, from of course not just the uh, the profile etc but even if if it say we pass on the interview audio to a ai tool it can do uh, a voice analysis it can even do a psychometric i mean what is the personality of this candidate will be he or she be a good fit for the organization that's where i see ai helping in now coming to recruiters recruiters need not worry it's not going to replace their job it is going to in fact be a much more powerful and a tool which is going to support them so for example now uh, let's say a recruiter finds it hard how do i communicate to this candidate so i mean open up chat gpt it drafts a nice uh, beautiful uh, message to the candidate right similarly if you want to find about uh, uh, the best time to reach out to a candidate because everybody is chasing a guy i mean you cannot call them during the business hours right so what is the best time to reach a person a b c to just get connected the way a sales person uses ai so recruiter will find it very handy they know that okay if i call this candidate to 6 in the evening the prospects are or the probability of uh, reaching out to me will be much better so i find uh, ai is going to be an enabler it's not going to be really replacing jobs but it is going to be a disruptive technology